When working with matrices, rows are important, columns are important, and what is also important is an operation that exchanges these. This is called the transpose of a matrix. You reverse the rows and the columns by flipping across the diagonal. More technically, given a matrix A, its transpose is denoted AT with a superscript for transpose, and the i comma jth entry of the transpose is the j ith entry of the original matrix you started with. So for example, a 5 by 3 matrix when transposed gives you a 3 by 5 matrix, keeping the diagonal the same, but flipping, exchanging the rows and the columns in the manner demonstrated. Now, a couple of uh, simple properties. First of all, the transpose is involutive. Man, I like that word involutive. What does that mean? That means that it undoes itself. If you take the transpose of a transpose, you get back what you started with. In general, anything that's involutive means you do it twice, you get back what you started with. Now, the transpose is used all over the place. It's used for converting column vectors to row vectors and vice versa because of involutive. Okay, now the transpose can demonstrate uh, symmetry. We say that a matrix is symmetric if it is its own transpose. It must therefore be a square matrix, and such a symmetric matrix has to, has to have a certain um, symmetric structure to it. It has to look the same when you flip along the diagonal. Now, there are so many cool examples of symmetric matrices we've seen. The identity matrix, of course, correlation matrices, uh, Facebook friend matrices, but not Twitter, and stress matrices. As we keep going, keep your eyes open for symmetric matrices. They almost always encode some special property.